I got some fish schooled up right here that I'm trying to fish for. That's a lot of water. I don't know how I'm still floating, honestly. Oh, I'm about to tip. Oh God, I'm tipping. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another kayak bass fishing excursion. We have got the old kayak all loaded up, rigged out, and sprawled out here on this boat ramp and we're about to launch it and go up that way up this little creek that feeds off the main river. We're fishing out here at Lake Dardanelle today. Um, I've historically done pretty well fishing out here. Um, back when I was younger, this place was like pumping out just like huge sacks of fishes all the time. It was like no problem to catch like 18 to 20 pounds bass in a tournament, but Things have kind of changed. You know, there's a lot of tournament pressure, a lot of pressure on these fish. Um, and right now we're at a time of year where the fishing can be a little bit tough. So really today we're just trying to get five bites and I'm honestly just trying to catch like five two pounders today. I feel like if I catch five two pounders, I'll have myself in a pretty good position, especially if I'm able to catch, you know, one little kicker. Um, I fished up in this creek, the last time I fished tournament up here. And, um, the bite started off pretty good early in the morning. So I need to get my crap out there and get going. The tournament actually started about 30 minutes ago but th to get to this spot from my house was kind of a rip and uh i didn't want to leave at three o'clock in the morning so we're here now uh, i think that we have until three o'clock so we have about nine hours to fish so a long day but like i said we're gonna start by going up this creek a little bit and if that doesn't work out we'll run up here into the main river and see if we can't find ourselves some big ones i've got a lot of stuff rigged up in my kayak i don't ever show you guys the chaos in this thing because it's kind of embarrassing but uh, i brought seven rods I usually like to go like five, but I didn't get a chance to come out here and practice and kind of get an idea of what I wanted to do. So here's my here's my rig. Got rods everywhere. Got all my gear. Got my camera gear. It's just part of part of the journey of doing this. I love it. I love tournament fishing. I love challenging myself and competing against other great anglers. And I'm excited to hopefully catch a few good ones. So if y'all are excited to join along with me on today's adventure, do me a huge favor hit thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's see if we can put some of the pieces of the puzzle together today and uh, find five decent fish. Let's go. All right, we're gonna start off fishing right around this old bridge. There's a bunch of old laydowns and crap right here. Um, I'm gonna try to take advantage of the early morning low light period and throw a buzz bait. Also try to get a big bite. I've got the six inch stroker crawl on the back. It's one of my favorite things to have on the back of a buzz bait. It's either between that or a divine swim bait. We might swap up and do both, but, um, yeah, we're just going to fish around and hopefully get a couple bites early to establish a little bit of confidence in this area. Um, that's something that seemed to be pretty important for me in these tournaments this season is if I got if I get off to a good start, I usually have a pretty decent finish because I'm able to just kind of keep going. But, you know, if it takes a while for me to kind of get going in the day, it's a little bit tougher for me to, you know, rebound in the afternoon. So hopefully we can uh, start off with a few good bites. Yeah, so um, <laughs> that this is kind of awkward. That did not really go according to plan whatsoever, and I may have I may have uh, jumped the gun a little too soon on that spot, but um, I just was not feeling it at all. Like down in my gut, I was like, "This is not what I what I was anticipating. This is not what I want to fish." Um, that's kind of the problem with you know not getting the chance to come out and scout around. Had I had that opportunity, uh, I would have checked that spot out and you know could could have got a good feel for it. But with um, you know, this limited amount of time of the tournament day to fish, I just felt like there was no shot really of me catching something, but I could be completely wrong. There could be a bunch of bass back there, but I went a good stretch of the ways down. I fished an area that's a really high percentage area for me normally when I fish out there. And it was just, just boiling with gar and like some carp. And it's just rough fish after rough fish. And the water was more stanky and stagnant than usual. So, I've decided to load up all my stuff and I am heading to the completely opposite end of the lake. Um, I'm going to get some clearer water. I don't know if I'm going to catch any big fish down there or not, but yeah, I'm going to do something just completely opposite. There's some vegetation out there. There's cleaner water. There's 
There's a spillway I can finish. There's a lot of stuff. So it's seven o'clock right now. I'll be there in an hour, which that just really sucks. But I think it's better to just make this move and then just lock it in at that spot instead of like just piddling around up there for an hour and not catching anything. It's getting further and further behind. So hopefully this move will work out and we'll catch some fish. I'm really, I just want to catch a limit now. I <laughs> just want to catch five. Just want to catch like five, like 12 inches and then we'll see what happens from there. But I'll see you guys once we get to the next spot. I got some fish schooled up right here that I'm trying to fish for. They're right here. If you can let me make one more cast, that'd be sweet. I'm fishing in a tournament right now. That's fine, just go on. Do what? Yeah. That's where I'm heading. Where'd you put in at? Right here. You can launch anywhere. Mm -hmm. You can launch anywhere between dam to dam. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. I thought you were idling up there. Yeah. yeah, I just turned around, they started schooling right here, so I started casting at them. <sighs> Man, that is just unbelievable to me, guys. I mean, this is a little creek that feeds off this little area. Um, make my way back up this way. I had a couple of fish bust right behind me, so I turned around and uh, threw at them, and I caught one. I didn't show y'all. I didn't show y'all because there's a boat that was coming back up this way, sees me, catch the fish, and then he makes a right turn right up into this creek. He wasn't coming up in this creek. He was going that way. He saw me hook that fish, made a right turn, and came right up in here as I was measuring the fish, and then just went right through it. Ugh. I usually don't get like frustrated on the water. I don't really like being confrontational or anything, but that just really sucked. Like, there was a good group of fish that were busted. I'm kind of hoping that they'll come back up, but this is a very narrow creek, and that dude just drove right here and then stopped idling and put the trolling motor down right here, right here and just started trolling up, so I don't know. I'm going to go up that way and fish, too. There's a lot of water back there, but unbelievable. But at least we're on the board. That first fish was a solid one, honestly, for out here. 15 and a half incher. Caught it on the old catwalk out here in just broad daylight sunshine. I heard a, it looked like there's some bigger ones schooling. There was like four or five different fish, so I think that had that not happened, we could have really just cashed in. But it's good to know there are some fish. This water is actually moving right now. 
Um, so that's good. I like the moving water. There's some shade pockets on this bank that we can throw a little creature bait in, throw this top water in. But I'm going to stay here just for a moment longer and see if maybe they come back up. But another thing I'm kind of worried about is I think my kayak is leaking. I've been patching it, but I didn't repatch it for this tournament. I'll check my patch and it seemed like it was good, but it feels like I'm taking on water. So that's not great either. Kind of running into some issues today. I do have some uh, JB Weld if we need it. We can pull this thing up and repatch it, but I don't want to do that. That sucks. <laughs> okay, I definitely think I'm taking on water. I'm scared to look. Oh gosh, oh gosh. There's. This is not. Oh my gosh. My patch is still on there. Where am I leaking at? Look at all this water in here. I mean. I'm gonna start bailing it out. This sucks, guys. My patch feels good. Do I have a hole somewhere else? That's a, that's a lot of water. I don't know how I'm still floating, honestly. Oh, I'm about to tip. Oh, God, I'm tipping. Okay, I gotta go. This is not good. Guys, I've got like, I don't even know how much water. Like, gallons several gallons of water a bunch of gallons probably 30 gallons 40 gallons of water in my kayak right now i don't know where it's coming in at though because i mean i guess my patch up there could be failing but it, it seems like it's rock solid i hope i don't have another hole i gotta find some dry land to pull this thing up on and dump it Okay, here's the crime scene. I got all my stuff dumped out of my kayak on the bank. Got this one little sliver of dry land. Ugh, and we gotta get this thing empty and somehow sort of dried out. Probably about to step on a cotton mouth or something. Would be fitting for the way the day's going. There's so much water in this thing. Okay. Okay. There's my good for nothing patch. <laughs> We're gonna have to uh hopefully get another one installed. I usually do this before every tournament. I make sure that my dude is good. And if it doesn't seem good then I put a new one on. I probably just need to get a new kayak, but Try to be a handyman sometimes. So with that, today's video is sponsored by JB Weld. As long as I can get this stuff applied back on there. <laughs> the one thing that really sucks about this though is I'm gonna have to sit here and wait for it to cure, which is gonna take like 30, 40 minutes. But the day is still relatively young. I gotta get that dried off somehow. I don't have anything to dry it. So it might have to be like a wet apply. I don't know. We're gonna have to get lucky, honestly. I got two things of it though, and this is a no-no too. You're not really supposed to do this with your hands, but what else am I going to do? Okay, I think we're past the worst of all of that. You know, it could have been a lot worse. We could have sank this kayak and all of our stuff had I not uh, noticed that we were sinking, but it's kind of hard to not notice that you're sinking whenever you have 40, 50 gallons of water in your kayak. I really don't know how it stayed afloat, but I kind of leaned to the right a little bit, I think almost like got level with the water and we would have really had some issues probably to capsize so luckily i caught it in time we got everything back loaded up into the kayak all we're doing now is we are just waiting on that and jb weld to cure up just a little bit more um i'm a, i'm 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 ready to send it i've actually seen another fish bust back up in there where i caught that one so i'm wanting to get back up in there as fast as possible and start making my way back down i don't know what time it is where's my phone let me see what time it is good time check we got until three to fish today it's only 9.30, guys, so I think we're going to be all right. I think I'm just going to mainly just stay in this little creek area the rest of the entire day and just really pick it apart, try to catch four more fish out of it. I think if I can get four more and just secure a limit, then we'll be doing good. I don't think that everybody's going to be catching limits out here on this lake today because that's just kind of how it is. But um, I saw some big fish jumping 
when they first started coming up. So if I can get one of those big ones and then a couple more like the one I got, I have a good chance of a, I've got a good chance of a placing pretty well in this tournament. So we're going to keep our head up. Hopefully we won't run into too many more issues. We won't have dudes try to run over our fishing spot again. And hopefully we won't sink the boat because I'm all out of JB Weld. What I have on there is what I've got. So let's, uh, let's make something happen, guys. Okay, well, I think that we've waited long enough on our patch to cure. We've been up here on the bank now for about 40 minutes, and uh, I'm itching to get back after it. I've been struggling all morning to get bit. Um, might be onto a little something, something back here in this creek. I don't know. It might have been a fluke. Might have just got lucky with that one fish, but hopefully we can get up in there and catch a couple more. I'm going to drag this kayak back across this area. This whole area is going to look like a big old gator was up in here wallowing around. I feel bad about it, but I'm just glad there was a, a spot of dry land nearby that I was able to pull this kayak up and uh, get all resituated. But let's get back down there and let's even catch some more fish. On top of everything that's happened today, we just broke a Chaco. We just lost a soldier. We don't need no shoes. We don't need no shoes. We just need four more bass. Oh man, what a day. Looking good for now. We got six, five and a half hours. Five and a half hours to figure something out. If we can catch one bass an hour, I'll feel good about it. Clobbered it. Clobbered the frog. My chest camera just overheated too. Oh, that was a dirty cast too. I was like, this place doesn't seem like it has any fish, but if there is one, he's right there underneath that tree. That is a nice one. Probably 19? A 19er? After the start to the day that we've had, this feels really good. 19 and a quarter at best, 19 at worst. <laughs> Beautiful bass, probably close to four pounds. Wrapping this little tiny shade line, we're gonna send it back. Leg it back to doing its bassy things. So we've got a 15 and a half and a 19 and a quarter. That's that's two pretty good bass out here. Really, really need to focus in on like filling the limit now. The sun's really starting to get high. We're gonna start losing these shade lines. We got plenty of time to do it. But if we can get another big one like that, like, oh man. Oh man, it fires me up. Got him. He's gone. Another big one. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. We got him figured out now. Let's go, guys. 17. 17 inches. Two more, two more like that. Got him, stay on, stay on there. Woo, number four, baby. Number four. Oh, he bit it like a big guy. He's probably my smallest one. He might be 15 though, he's at least 14. That's still a good one out here on this lake, guys. Let's go. Doing them dirty. Man, this high sun's got them set up right up on the bank underneath these limbs. It's like, I mean, every one of these branches get a whole fish. When they're coming up and getting that thing, they are absolutely just throttling it. I like to get my uh, measuring board wet when it's hot like this, so I can lay the fish on there and not get them all jacked up, but it seems to give them a little bit more energy. So you gotta be extra careful when measuring so they don't. Jump off into the lake. 14 and a half. 
14 and a half. We got four fish. We need one more for a limit. And it's, what time is it? 11.20. We got like dang near four hours. You know, over three and a half hours left to catch our fifth one. At this pace, we should be able to do that. I don't want to get too ahead of myself and get too excited, but at this pace, we should be able to get a fifth one. And uh, throwing this frog, you know, we're getting that better than average bite out here. I'm telling you guys, like, fishing on this late, this time of year, is tough. It doesn't take a whole lot to win, poundage-wise or length-wise. So I haven't looked at the standings to see what everybody else is doing. But whenever I catch my fifth one, I'm going to submit my fish if I catch my fifth one. And we'll kind of see where we're at. But hopefully we can get that bite soon and then just try to work our way back up and pull through a few. Maybe get one more big bite. I mean, 19, 20 inch, that would go so far in this tournament. I didn't feel good about that one either way. I thought if I let him kind of fight by the boat, he might come off, or if I flipped him, he might come off. We needed that one. We've got two and a half hours left to fish. The bite's kind of slowed down. Just need that fifth fish and we'll be okay. That was him. to get old sneaky out dude this is the spot where we had those fish schooling this morning and I was just thinking maybe they're hanging out here on the bottom we can get old sneaky out that's old sneaky and that is a five fish limit he's not a giant but there's one there that could be another one for sure what's crazy is that another boat just barreled through there so I guess it didn't scare him that bad but look at that Five bass limit, baby! 14 incher. I bet there's another one in there, too. There's a bite. Coming at me, coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. Coming at me. He's running right at me. Oh, he's little. He might cold though, a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, sneaky. Oh, I love when they run at you because you don't ever know how big they actually are going to be. It's always a surprise. Little sneaky. I'm going to pull up in these pads so I don't move anymore. He might cold. I don't know. That was exciting. We were worried about getting the limit, and now all of a sudden we've got six fish. I don't know if he's gonna be a call or not. I forgot what camera I was recording on. This one here overheated and this one here was overheated. But that fish I just caught, cold. It was a 14 and a quarter. So every half inch, quarter inch matters in these kayak tournaments. I don't even know what's down there on the bottom. It's just kind of a little ditch that feeds back up in here. Seems like it's a little bit deeper, but there is a little bit of water moving out. And I think just it's got in position. There's a big old lay down tree. And uh, for whatever reason, they were here this morning Seems like they're still here. We're gonna throw big baby back out there. That's bigger. Why does he keep falling down? That was probably a really awkward angle, angle for y'all. We got another one. Man, what a trip today it's been. It's just been crazy. Crazy how the things have turned. 15 and a half. Look how healthy he is. It's also something else I'm used to catch as much of nasty, unhealthy looking fish. Oh my god. Oh my 
my gosh, if I would have missed that fish, I would have thought I'd missed a 20 incher. Wow. Look at that little guy. Now if that was my fifth fish, I would have been stoked, but he smashed the thing. I swapped to a different frog. Just because I've been through this stretch like four times now, I put this one, it's more of a bluegill, kind of shad color, kind of a hybrid color. It's got that popping mouth on it. And honestly, it's making about the same amount of noise as the other one, but works for that fish. We've got one hour left to fish. We're gonna keep going up this bank and we're gonna stop again where we caught those ones with that worm. That's probably where we're gonna finish up. It's been a good day. But I'm hot and very thirsty. I can't I wish I did not forget all my drinks in the car. Stay on there. Stay on there. Are you gonna help me? Probably not. <laughs> oh, he felt so big. He tried taking me back out there in that bush. Well measured anyways. It could be 14 and a half or you never know. I think my smallest still is 14 and a quarter. All right, I think that's a quarter inch upgrade. It's a 14 and a half. Pretty sure my smallest is a 14 and a quarter. So that's pretty cool. We'll see you later. Well, that's it, my friends. We've officially run out of time for this little silly old kayak bass fishing tournament day. It's been a day. It's been a day. I am so hot, so thirsty, just parched, just flat out wore out because we have had ourselves such a roller coaster of a day. You know, I got up like at 3.45 this morning, drove over two hours to the spot that I started at. Um, didn't work out. We drove an hour over here to this spot. We faced some adversity. We we'll sank this kayak. We uh, got into it a little bit with some bass boater dudes running up on our spot. Um, but you know, amidst all these struggles, we were able to keep our head down, grind it out, and have ourselves a pretty good day. And right now, as it stands, I'm in third place. I don't know if it's gonna change. Could have some sandbagging. I kind of sandbagged a little bit today. I didn't post any of my fish until I had a limit. Usually I'm better about it, but I was just kind of laser focused in and kind of still mad. Just kind of just, I don't know. I was a little grumpy. I don't know if you can tell, I was a little grumpy this morning, but. We're over it now, we're happy because we're on our way back to the truck. We've got some water and that's gonna be exciting. Then we're going to meet up at this awesome barbecue place and they've got some sweet tea and lemonade. We're gonna mix those two together and it's gonna be delicious. And I don't even know if I'm gonna eat anything. I'm probably just gonna just drink my weight in calories. It's gonna be great. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sad the day's over, but I'm, I'm also excited to <laughs> head back to the, to the truck because it's, it's just been a grind. But hopefully we'll maintain our position. We'll see once we get to the length in. I'll see you guys there. Well guys, so as it turns out, I didn't in fact end up placing in the top three in this tournament. Um, whenever I last checked them, whenever um, lines out happened at three o'clock, I was in third place. But you could submit fish up until 3.30 and uh, my buddy Eric ended up um, nudging me out of the top three um, by a half inch. I think it was a half inch or three quarters of an inch. I don't know, but it was so small. I really needed to cull my smallest fish, get one more good kicker and I would have had us in there. But overall, I'm very proud of how the way the day turned out, especially from the way it started to the way it ended. You know, at the beginning, if you would have told me I was gonna catch that many fish by the end of the day, I would have been like, you're crazy. But we, 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 but we kept our head down, we kept fighting throughout the day, we kept figuring things out, and we put together a pretty solid limit for that fishery. So definitely nothing to be sorry about, but it definitely would have been nice to, uh, either hold on to that big bass lead or get into the top three. But hey, there's always next time. We've got a few more tournaments this year. The next one is on another tough fishery and I'm excited about it. It's gonna be at the end of next month. So I'm excited to start practicing, getting ready for that. I'm definitely gonna be out on the water getting some practice in for that one because it's gonna be a grinder for sure. But yeah, definitely got some more solid angler of the year points in this one. I don't know if I'm, if I'm gonna be able to climb up to the top or not. I think I would need a miracle to happen probably to win out the rest of the tournaments, but hey, you never know. You can never say never. But anyways, hopefully y'all enjoyed this kayak fishing tournament experience. A lot of ups and downs. It was a lot of fun, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. And so if y'all did too, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.